guys, this is Twiggy. So today I'm gonna show you how to use our Xtool fire safety set. So the Xtool fire safety set is the world's first smart system that can prevent fire incidents during lasering process when follow the proper safety guidelines of using laser machine. And before we set up the system, let's look at what's inside the box. We have control box, sensor hub, smart switch, power adapter and cable, user manual, sensor, CO2 gas bottle, cable clamp and tube clamp, cable tie pack, tube, 3M tape. So right now I'm going to show you how to set up a sensor on our D1 Pro. And to use an open desktop laser like D1 Pro, make sure that you use the enclosure together with the fire safety set. And if you want to see how to set up a sensor on our M1, please check out the last portion of this video. There are two types of sensors. Sensor 1 is for you to place on the side of a laser module. And sensor 2 is for you to place on the back side in the middle of each side plate. And right now, let me show you how to do that step by step. First, let's take off our laser module and flip our D1 Pro. Use the wipe to clean the surface where you're gonna place the 3M tape and place the sensor 2 in the middle of each side plate. Use the table clamp to organize your cable and use the 3M tape to place them on your machine accordingly. The table clamp can support up to two lines of cable and this is how it looks like after you have organized the cable. And now let's flip our D1 Pro. And later, you're gonna place the sensor one on the side of a laser module. Use the cable tie to organize the sensor cable and the laser module head cable together. Now let's place the enclosure on our D1 Pro. Stick the 3M tape on the back of the sensor hub and stick them onto the enclosure. Use the cable organizer to organize your cable. Now plug in those cables. Make sure that the yellow plug in here. And right now I'm gonna show you how to pair our smart switch with the control box. So right now we're gonna pair our smart switch with the control box. Here's how you do it. Turn on the test state indicator. When you see the green light is on, the control box in, is in test mode. First, press the button for five seconds on smart switch to entering the pairing state. And right now we're gonna press the smart switch test button on control box. It will send a signal to our smart switch. If the smart switch blink for three times and the red light has been turned off, it means the control box and the smart switch has been paired successfully. And if you want to test if they have been paired together successfully, here's how you can do it. First, turn on the smart switch. And now you're gonna press the smart switch test button on control box. It will send a signal to the smart switch. As you can see, it has been turned off. They have been paired together successfully. If you are using a laser devices with an air purifier, air assist set, or some other accessory, please use an extension cord to connect them all to the smart switch for power supply. So right now I'm gonna plug in right here into the smart switch and power everything from the extension cord. But make sure that you power the control box separately from the smart switch. And now let's connect our sensor hub with our control box. Stick one side of the tube into the control box and the other side with the tube clamp into the machine and fix it onto the machine. To test if the sensor is working okay, so first let's put on test mode on control box. 
and put a lighter in front of the sensor. And if the corresponding indicator on the sensor hub is blinking in red, the sensor is working properly. Please check each of the sensor. Right now, we're gonna place the CO2 gas bottle into the control box. Depending on the different type of laser machine you have, you will need different amounts of CO2 gas bottle. For example, our D1 Pro with the enclosure, you will need four CO2 gas bottles. If it's M1 without the riser base, you'll need two CO2 gas bottles. First, you need to unplug the power. And now we're gonna place the CO2 bottle into them. If you don't want to trigger to release the CO2 gas, you can press the bottom right here to cancel alarm. And then you can press the button one more time to let the fire safety set enter the monitoring state again. Press the button to cancel the alarm. If you want to trigger the one press fire distinguish mode, press the button right here. Once the light for the CO2 sign is on, you need to replace the CO2 gas bottles. And that's all for today's tutorial of how to use our fire safety set. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao! Right now, I'm gonna show you how to set up a sensor on our M1. First, let's remove the screws that fix the base plate and then remove the base plate. Now, let's install sensor two. Open the lid and use 3M tape to fit sensors on it, four sensors in total. Use cable clamp to organize the cables of the sensors towards the right side. Stick them on the casing of the machine. Now let's install sensor 2. Use 3M tape to stick it on the right side of the laser module. Stick a cable clamp to organize sensor cable. Close the lid and turn over the machine. Stick a cable clamp at the bottom of the laser module to organize the sensor cable. Stick cable clamps on the ray of the beams to organize cable towards the right side of the machine. Use cable ties to bind the cable to the drag chain. Arrange the cable towards the right side of the machine. Stick the tube clamps on front panel inside the machine. Put one end of the tube through the hole in the right corner and insert it into the tube clamps. Stick the sensor hub on the front of the machine. Take the front part down, wind the cables around it, and then insert the cables into the ports. Put the front part back. Connect the sensor hub and the tube to control box. Insert the other end of the tube into the tube fitting on the control box. Down, and that's how it looks. 